Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome to Mac Break Studio. My name is Brian Gary, and I'm very honored today to have as my guest the esteemed Norman Holland. Ooh, I like that. Editor, head of the editing track at USC Film School, and also author of Peach Pit Press's The Lean Forward Moment. I, I love these episodes because it's so easy for us to talk software and gear and, and just, you know, we get all revved up and riled up about all these, you know, the, the next gadget and how to do this. But we often lose sight of the fact that the sole reason any of this stuff exists is for storytelling. That's absolutely right. In fact, thanks to people like you in the tech part, uh, of the world, uh, it's no longer all that easy to differentiate yourself uh, by tech. Hey, mm -hmm. I can do After Effects. Hey, I can do. I mean, I'm listening to you guys every week do Motion and uh, the, you know, exp uh, all the different software apps. So we can't differentiate ourselves that way at all. And price, mm -hmm. you don't want to differentiate yourself on price, yeah. right? So what's left for me and for you to differentiate is the aesthetics, the idea of how to best tell a story. Mm -hmm. And that's where my world begins. And that, again, and that's what I really love. Because, uh, so where do you want to take us today? Because, I mean, there's an infinite amount of things we could talk about in storytelling. Mm -hmm. right. I really enjoyed your book. For those of you who are either seasoned editors or aspiring editors, you really need to read this book. Because it brings it all back to why we started this whole process. Mm -hmm. to begin with. So what would you like to talk about today? Well, what I'd like to talk about is what the title of the book is, A Lean Forward Moment, because okay. in fact, what I've discovered over the course of uh, many years of teaching this at SC as well as elsewhere, that um, uh, the concepts of how to think of story mm -hmm. affect what you shoot, affect um, costume, affect production design, affect sound, affect what we do as editors. And uh, the, the techniques that we'll talk about today, I'm going to invent a few terms for you. Did you invent this term, the lean forward moment? I invented moment? the lean forward moment term. That's one of the cool things about being a professor. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to lean right, in. There we go. <laughs> I invented yeah. once yes. again. Yeah. Uh, so that we can actually uh, work towards that concept mm -hmm. by talking about a few smaller concepts. Okay. And the idea is you're going to learn, I hope, uh, how to look at story and to begin to think about how can I shape it to tell the best story. And that's what the Lean Forward moment all, um, is. Um, so, so to do that, what I sort of want to do is imagine, let, let's start by imagining a scene uh, of a, uh, a person who walks into a room, okay. looks down, sees a dead body, and reacts to it. Okay. All right, now we're working low budget, and by the way, uh, I'm gonna say low budget narrative here, okay. but this, all these theories work regardless of what kinds of projects you're working on. Mm -hmm. So this is true of uh, uh, music videos. This is true of corporate videos. Mm -hmm. I've used this on documentaries. I've used it on high budget, low budget, um, television, all kinds of different things. The fundamentals of storytelling remain the same. Are re across all different types. Aristotle wasn't right. wrong then, huh? Yeah, <laughs> though he never worked in film. Oh, <laughs> yeah, see? Sorry, babe. <laughs> yeah, this is, but if he was here today, he would. And he'd be wanting his royalties. <laughs> yeah. So do I. Yeah. Mm. Um, but uh, so, so imagine that we have these, uh, this, this story right. of the guy walking in, seeing the dead body and reacting. But because it's low budget, we can only afford to shoot it in um, two camera angles. Okay. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, and I made these in Martini. Oh, which nice. Is a great little program that I love in Final Cut. Um, so here's one shot of the guy walking in, in a medium shot, and he kind of uh, gets to the end, uh, looks down, and sees something off screen. Right. And he's going to react, oh, my God, whatever it is. Okay, so that's one angle. And you're an actor, too. And a bad <laughs> one, too. Right? Like, yeah. don't give up my day job, yeah. right? Uh, and here's the second shot that we could get, which is his point of view, down onto the dead body on the ground. Okay. All right, so that is it. That's all we can afford. Right? All we can afford, really, are these two angles. Right. All right, so um, Let's imagine that we cut them together in a couple of different ways. Right? Okay. We're going to put them together in three different ways. So now, basically, they've shot this, they've handed it off to you, mm -hmm. and now you. So as well, these are assets. Right? Yeah. I can cut it. Uh, well, let me think. Let me first do a version. Uh, let's call this version one. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
And uh, what happens is he walks in, he's going to cross over to the uh, this, this downside of the room, and he looks down, and oh my God, there's the dead body. Right. So that's version number one. Right. So there is going to be a moment in time where he looks down, sees the body, <gasps> reacts. Mm-hmm. There's that acting thing again. Right. Reacts, and the audience is not going right. to know what he's reacting to. Right. So uh, the audience is going to feel, oh my God, what's going on, what's going on? Oh, I see. Okay. So emotionally, and that's what we do as filmmakers. We try and create emotional reactions inside our films. Mm -hmm. Um, So emotionally, they're going to have a certain kind of reaction there, right? Okay, so let's put that one out of our head. Let's do something that I will call version two. Very good. I like how you think. I'm, I'm a quick study. Yeah. Right. So, all right, here he goes. He's walking over. But before we get to the shot, we're here, the part of the shot where he looks down and reacts, we cut to the dead body. And then we back up to him reacting. <gasps> like that. All mm-hmm. right. So the audience at this point, depending upon how fast you do that cutting, mm-hmm. the audience is not going to have that moment where they go, what's he reacting to? What's he reacting to? But in fact, is going to find the information at approximately the same time mm-hmm. that the actor does. So react with him then. Right. Okay. Very different emotional reaction inside. Mm-hmm. Right? So um, that's, that's the kind of thing that we have under our control mm-hmm. as editors, yes? Let's do one final version. Okay. Because right? I like things in threes. Right. Editors love things in threes. And in fact, we'll get to a term that uses that. So, okay, so here's a version where before we even show him walking in the room, we show the dead body. Okay. And then you hear the door open and then cut to him walking across and looking down and reacting. All right? So, yeah. is that going to feel a little different? Oh, totally. But we now, because the audience is, is pre-informed, mm-hmm. is on the outside of the story now mm-hmm. and has more information than the characters. Right. So, every step that that guy takes across that room right. is going to be informed by the fact that we know something that he doesn't. Mm-hmm. So the audience is going, oh my God, don't go there, don't go there, don't go there, right? right. So there's going to be a very different set of reactions. So the real question that I can ask you is, which is the right one? I guess it all depends on the intent. What reaction do you want the audience to have? Mm-hmm. You know? So what's so, the story you're trying to tell in so, the scene? Right? This, so again, it's all about the subjectivity shouldn't be arbitrary. So as you, the editor, are cutting these scenes together and you have these options available to you, it shouldn't be an arbitrary decision. It should be a thought-out decision as to the effect you're trying to elicit, cause and effect. Mm -hmm. And what you've demonstrated here is that from the same thing, same core three shots, we can have completely different. Different reactions. And so in order to know what you want in this scene, Mm -hmm. you have to know what the whole movie is about. Right and um, what came before this particular scene and where you're leading towards. This is one of my terms that I call the, wait for this, wait for this, the rule of threes, Okay. which basically means the impact of a shot is completely dependent upon the shot that came before it and will affect the shot that comes after it, right? Same thing with scenes. The impact of a scene is affected by the scene that came before it and will affect the shot that came uh, that comes after it, right? right. Yeah. So um, that, that to me is of crucial, crucial importance. Now let's take that concept and add it to one other one. Okay. And then we're going to end up at the lean forward moment. Okay. okay. Like magic. All right. So um, I'm going to flash a picture on screen of five people lined up in a row. Okay. And what I'd like to find out is as soon as you see it, where your eye goes to. Okay. All right, so let's see what happens. <gasps> Where'd your eye go? Okay. Obviously, and, and you guys will have the same reaction when you see this as well. I went to the one right in the center because that was the one that was different. Right, that's the one that's different, right? Some people say it's because it's in the center. Maybe, but really what it is is it's different from the surrounding ones. One of these things is not <laughs> like the other. It's good. <laughs> Sesame and glad, Street. And I'm glad like, you're singing, right? Yeah, that's right. Not me. Yeah. But in fact, yes, it's yeah. Sesame Street writ large. Yeah. Because here, something changes. We have black, black, white, black, black. Right. right? So uh, the eye is going to something that's changed. Right. So now I'm going to try a different version of this okay. where I'm going to make them all black. Okay. All right. Let's look and see where your eye goes to this time. Okay. All right. Whoa. There you go. 
the one that is the different size. Mm -hmm. So again, it's it's a difference. Mm -hmm. Our eye is drawn to see the you know spatial differences, color differences, well, luminance differences especially, and that's right. why that white and the, the black one. There's a gigantic that's luminance. Right. It shape. might be a little different if it was white, 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 black, white. Right. But no, in fact, it's the fact that it's changed from the surrounding material. Right. This one is yeah. changed yeah. from the surrounding. We're material. always looking for patterns, and anything that disrupts the pattern is a flag. That's Good. Hold that thought because we're going to get back to it in about a minute. Okay. All right? Because I'm going to do one more version of this where they're all black. They're okay. all the same size. And let's see where the eye goes. You ready? I'm ready. Oh. I had to wait for it for a second, but it was motion. Right. So again, we're like, like animals of prey, we are drawn towards motion. Mm -hmm. And this, by the way, is one of the most potent uh, tools that I have as an editor mm -hmm. to attract the eye. So what we're doing here is we are looking to how we manipulate the eye mm -hmm. to see something. Right? Right. Now, by extension, what we do as filmmakers, I'm not afraid of this term, is manipulate the audience's mind. Mm -hmm. We are manipulating the mind. Not just here was the eye, but now we're manipulating the mind. And it will come as absolutely no surprise to you that the way we do that is by changing something. Right. So if, in fact, we have a scene which is all medium shots and then cut to a close shot, there's the can change. we do that? Can we yeah. cut in tight? <laughs> yeah, I'll just frame myself. That's there we right. go. There's the change. So if we go yeah. from medium, 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 tight, the audience is going to, inside, lean forward. See where I'm heading with this? Yes. Lean forward and pay a little bit more attention emotionally because something has changed. The introduction of music, per se. The introduction of a color shift. Exactly. Change. There are so many things that we have on our tool belt that we can change as filmmakers mm -hmm. in order to attract the audience. Music, and uh, you know, we're going to Hopefully, I'm going to be able to show you some of that possibility here. Uh, but that uh, uh, size of shots, uh, sound, mm -hmm. sound drops out. Uh, if we go from straight cut from you to me to you, to L cuts where we're overlapping sound, um, that's going to be a change in the audience uh, we'll get to know also. Wow. So what we try to do is to look for the places in a scene where we'll change something. And where we look for those places are uh, script-wise. Mm -hmm. We want to know story. where in the story are we delivering maximum change. Right? Something's going to change that yeah. we want the audience to pay attention to. And that's, you know, you're informed, just to kind of recap us here, by your rule of threes, that every beat, every scene, every large section is informed by what precedes it and what comes after it because it's about the yeah. change. The change. Now what I'd love to do, mm -hmm. as kind of a little capper finale here, sure. is to play a short scene from a student film. Okay. So this is a low budget film because student, right? Those two things yeah. go together. <laughs> yes, right? definitely. Um, uh, and uh, I'd like to see how this director, it's a short film called Monsoon, directed um, in India actually, okay. um, by uh, Sham Balse. And, um, uh, the story is about a guy named uh, Govinda who is coming back from the United States where he's moved uh, to see his father, Baba, who is very, very sick. Okay. But they don't like each other because Govinda blames his dad for the death of his wife. Right. And the dad blames Govinda for leaving him. Let's yeah. see it. So here we go.
Mm -hmm. So, what do we have here, right? This movie, the entire movie, is about the relationship between father and son, where they overcome their anger at each other and get to a point where they can begin to respect each other. Mm -hmm. And in this scene, which comes very near the beginning of the film, we really get to see what's, what's spooking Govinda so much. Right. right. So what changed? That inciting incident that kind of sparked. That's this. right. It's often called the inciting incident. Mm -hmm. And in this case, this particular scene we know is going to hinge on that lean forward moment happens when he sees something in the market that turns out just to be an overturned cart with tomatoes. Right. But in fact, uh, gets him in his head it's back to something. when yeah. his wife was killed before. And uh, look at all the things that changed yeah. as we moved from reality into his mind and, and then back, back again, right? Yeah. So music changed, uh, sound certainly changed, it dropped out when it's a slow-mo in mm -hmm. places that we hadn't had before, much more tight shots. And there's lots of things if you take a look at the scene that changed going in and out of the dream and it's why we lean forward inside and pay a little bit more attention to that moment. So again, change, your rule of threes, but coming back to that idea of if you want the audience to, as Norman has said, lean forward, and it's another way of saying, pay attention. Something important, I'm about to impart to you, the audience, something important. You need to change something in the scene mm -hmm. in some way right. to get them engaged. Yep. Again, Norman's book, The Lean Forward Moment, goes into all this and more. Norman, thank you very much. Pleasure being here. It's thank you. It's been an education. For the rest of the team at Mac Break Studio, we love bringing you these creative episodes. We will bring more of them. Thank you for watching.